It's your girl April, so it is time for a Friday wig. This time around, I'm really not that happy about the wig situation. Like, I love my people's that elevate stuff. I also do love it's a wig brand as well. You guys know I'm always talking about them, like how much I love them, how much realistic their wigs look, how natural they look, how full, how just really pretty they look. You know what I'm saying? So with that. I just be like in love with them. Well, this time we are out of love. Not like forever, but for this particular wig, I'm really not feeling it. It's a wig comes out with like a million different wigs and a majority of the hair texture that I've ever reviewed for any It's a Wig wig has been like that light yakky texture, that more natural texture. And you can also look at the photos and kind of tell that, okay, you know what girl, you in the safe zone. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can get that wig and it's gonna look really, really good. So, I really felt like I was up in the safe zone. Like, I really did. I really didn't feel like, oh, I was doing anything wrong. I didn't feel like I was about about to sink because a girl cannot swim okay but I guess I'm about to drown right about now all right so this one right here which is called lace gala she is in this beautiful color heather gray so I synced her on elevate styles website and I was like in love with her stalked her not just from elevate website but from another site sold out that color was sold out but from looking at the picture you would think you would just look and think like oh yeah safe zone safe zone girl i'm in a safe zone i'm about to get this wig i like the color and the texture is popping because from the looks of the hair and the picture it looked like light yaki texture okay i'm saying if you guys are on my side please a thumbs it up and just state your opinion. So I get the wig and I'm really excited. You know what I'm saying? It's back in stock. I get the email notification because the girl went ahead and put in an email notification. Like, I don't never do that. I just move on to the next. But I was so determined. Get the wig in the mail yesterday. Not yesterday, but the day before yesterday. And I put it aside because I'm like, all right, Saturday going to be here. I'm going to do my wig review. All right. Now you see me brushing it. Okay. That is because as I am brushing on it, it is tailing up. This wig looks nothing like the photo. I'm going to just use big girl words, not pick, but the photo. All right? It does not look anything like the photo. This wig is silky, straight, very thin. On the model, it looks like it's a light yakky texture. And I can honestly say this because I'm looking at these ripples all up in the hair and it looks like light yakky texture because that's what light yakky texture wigs do they have that ripple texture that yakky texture has that ripple look and it's very full looking okay so when i got it it was limo had i known that this was a silky texture wig i would have never requested it because when i took it out of the package it was like hey girls we about to tangle up on you and be like a ratty bird's nest i don't really like wearing a ratty bird's nest out in public so with that being said i'm gonna just we're gonna get into this it's the color heather gray it's swiss lace gala and it's the normal it has the parting on the sides the combs right here and the adjustable strap as you can tell by my whole demeanor i'm really not happy about this entire wig situation but being that because i asked for this one i'm gonna put her on anyway because she was sold out for a reason and she was probably sold out for the reasons that, that i just stated so we're gonna do this she ain't gonna be full like the photo but we're gonna do this anyway Yes, okay, I am bright. I'm bringing the brightness to you guys today. <laughs>
Okay, let me stop front end for the thumbnail because the pictures I just took was actually for the thumbnail. Nothing more. I'm really not feeling this cosplay wig. It's shedding on me so bad right now. Like, I feel the hair like falling out of this. This wig is so daggone thin, you could read my mind. This hair is just so thin that it looks like a wig from the cosplay section. Like, you know, when you go to Party City or you go to some type of party place where you can buy costumes and such, or it's Halloween and you go to Walmart or Target and you see the little wigs in the bag, but those wigs are not really made that great of a quality. And this is like the worst wig that I've ever reviewed for it's a wig like I'm so disappointed I just I'm, I just don't know what to say like I'm trying to figure out where's the ripples at like a picture and on top of that why is it shedding like this this is a horrible horrible wig um oh my god if you could only imagine how bad or see that this wig this hair just from just oh my goodness Okay, like I have never been disappointed by It's a Wig ever. Like, maybe I have once or twice, but as you can see, okay, my fingers are getting stuck. My fingers are stuck, all right? The wig tangles are like crazy. I'm not even going, I'm not moving, I'm not going anywhere. I mean, I'm just sitting in this chair, man. Mind of my own. B.I. and it's like you know what we just gonna tangle on you not to mention it's so thin I feel like I just don't feel good in this wig at all like seriously at all it's very thin I know you guys can see that and from the pictures it's very full it looks like it's yakky texture hair um, just from those ripples alone and that's what one would think I'm pretty sure that's the reason why it's sold out like that as well as the model is like really modeling it very pretty I'm thinking like this is not even the wig Okay, honestly. Now, as for the hairline, like, it's really great. The parting is great. I did do a tiny bit of that myself. I made it a little bit wider. And as you can see, it's really not that wide. But I didn't really want to take too much away from the wig because, like I said, it was already thin. And if I would have tweezed any more hair out, girl, it would have been nothing left but the cap. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is, like, not acceptable. Not. So, is it diva approved? I don't know what type of diva you looking for, but... If it's a real diva, honeys, no, this is not approved. Is it cosplay approved? Definitely. And this is what it reminds me a lot of is a cosplay wig. So with that being said, listen, I love It's a Wig. Um, unfortunately, this was not a really good pick. So with that being said, make sure you check out Elevate Styles for other great styles. But bypass on this one by Elevate. Um, by It's a Wig because this is a no-go. So I love you guys. Stay diva and divalicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. And yes, that's right. I did take the pics for the thumbnail. I mean, I'm saying, you got to think it look cute and want to get it just like I did with the picture right here. So yeah, hunties. Um, but you already know the deal. Bye.